Good day everyone. So today I got Galaxy S21 plus 5G. This is the USA variant. Actually, this phone is using out of USA and that is why we are not getting updates. Let me show about phone first. Galaxy S21 plus 5G and the currently model number showing here on my phone is G996U. U means that this is the USA variant. This is dual SIM set. One is eSIM and one is the physical SIM. Now the mobile phone is stuck on the One UI 5.1 Android 13 Beast Band number you can see that and this is the build number which is like old firmware currently this mobile is having right now. Now I was getting a message that uh, the Galaxy S21 or S21 Plus or any other mobile phone that uh, already got One UI 7 uh, updates but the phone is not yet taking or getting the OTA updates how to update this phone if the phone is not in USA if the phone using in like other country out of the USA how to update now let me show what we have to do the internet is already connected and I will tap the software update I will tap download and install you can see that your software is up to date one ui version 5.1 so the phone is not getting one ui 7.0 android 15. we have to flash the updated firmware manually on the usa variant if the usa variant mobile phone is using uh, out of usa in other country right? so we have to flash the stock updated firmware manually every time and remember do not downgrade the mobile phone if you try to downgrade the mobile phone the mobile phone will get break now let me show the nox status warranty valid right currently my mobile phone nox warranty status is zero into zero means that nox didn't uh, trigger yet the phone is having a warranty it's a valid warranty the firmware that i'm going to flash does not require required to unlock the bootloader nox will be remain zero into zero because we are not unlocking bootloader we are not trying to flash any custom rom we are trying to flash the stock updated rom officially right so this is the post that i got from the xta and if you read here that for those who are not already aware that G996U is the model number of all the US carrier versions of the S21 Plus. And the G996U1 is the model number of the same device, but sold by Samsung SIM unlocked and with no carrier blotware. Firmware is 100% interchangeable among these models. Like any U or U1 firmware version can be flashed to any U or U1 device at any time. Assuming that you are not trying to downgrade, right? I have downloaded the firmware that exactly I got on my mobile phone. First of all, let me show the software version screen once again. If I show the service provider software version, you can see that the model showing G996U and uh, the X double A is the country sales code firmware that currently is on my mobile phone. Let me find X double A firmware of the G double nine six U on the internet website link provided. Type the model number here G double nine six U G double nine six U and G double nine six U one. My mobile phone currently is showing G double nine six U. So first of all, I will select the G996U uh, here. Then the, I will go down and I can see that United States, AT&T, CCT, CHA, there is no CSC code like XAA. So for example, if I click AT&T, United States, AT&T, and if I go um, for details, I can see that the Android 15, One UI 7.0 already got released for the the, for this mobile phone but i am not going to flash the at&t i will go back to the search bar and i will tap again g double nine six u and this time i will select the u1 firmware and i will come down then i can see that uh, 
if I go further, yes, here is the XAA CSC code like the region from here. And I will select the XAA because my mobile phone is already having this CSC code from here. If I click on it and then if I go further, I can see that the XAA uh, Android 15 One UI 7.0 is provided already the update got released best ad advice to go with the same csc code so this is my downloaded folder and i have downloaded the firmware already g double nine six u one x double a well i tried to flash this firmware with the help of the odin 3.14.1 but i was getting an error so that's why I download the another Odin version. Like if we are trying to flash the stock from here on the Samsung mobile phone and in, in case if we get an error and any type of error, try to download another version of the Odin and then try to free flash the stock from here. That is what I did. I download the Odin 3.13.1, the patch one from the same so from your website where i have downloaded the firmware and then i tried to flash the firmware with this provided odin 3.13.1 and it got flash so we have to extract the firmware in same folder and then yes we have to extract the odin the one the patch one in same folder right then open the extracted folder of the firmware and you will see files inside the folder now here one thing i will do i will select the file by clicking on it i will press the f2 and i will go to the end of the file name i will just erase the dot md5 extension i will leave the file name like name and then dot tar and then press enter key then click yes and I will do the same thing with other remaining files, like selecting the second one, pressing F2, erasing the md 5 dot just leaving the file dot tar, pressing the enter key, click yes, and again, and then the last one, CSC OYM, then press enter key, and there is no need to change this one we are going to flash these four from your files the ap bl cp and csc and i will go back to my downloaded folder now then uh, open the odin extracted folder the patch one and another folder double click and double click the uh, odin file to open the odin the odin 3.13.1 repack now we have to select the firmware by just clicking the slot First of all, click the BL slot, then go to your downloaded folder where we have downloaded the firmware and open the extracted folder of the firmware. G996U1XAA and select the file starting from the BL by double clicking on it. Then click AP, go to the downloaded folder, select the file by double clicking on it starting from the AP then click cp do the same thing select the file starting from the cp by double clicking on it and then the last one click csc double click the file starting from the csc so the odin is ready now and uh, coming back towards the mobile phone the sim card is working with the current firmware one ui 5.21 you can see that the signals are coming and the volte is also working so we have to do few things before flashing let me tell you that you need to save all the internal storage data because updating the firmware will erase everything and i will do neat and clean flashing to avoid errors to avoid issues later on better to go for the clean flashing so save all the data first otherwise the data will get formatted check the mobile phone battery it must be charged so the mobile phone can get the firmware easily then go to settings and go to accounts and backup manage account if you are having a samsung account sync it and then must remove it sync your google account once and then must remove it to avoid issues go back then go to lock screen select the lock screen swipe to turn it off power of the mobile phone and i will just take out my sim card 
just removing the SIM tray, not taking out the SIM card. When mobile phone gets totally power off, now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. I am assuming that you have saved the internal storage data before flashing the firmware. Now you need to check the data cable. The other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. And uh, then uh, press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. You will see a warning screen to release both keys when the warning screen appears. Press the volume up key once on the warning screen. The phone will boot into Odin mode. Press the volume up key once to light up the screen. Now here is the Odin screen of my mobile phone. The current from binary is the Samsung official. The FRP lock is off. The KG states checking brackets 00, zero warranty void 0 into 0. The phone is booted into Odin mode. Odin show that the device is connected. Now I will click the start from here started flashing on the mobile phone. It will take a time so now we have to wait here. The flushing is about to be done and uh, when it gets uh, completed then the mobile phone will automatically restart and the Odin will show pass message. Done. You can see that Odin is showing pass message and mobile phone already got rebooted and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone when you see Samsung logo. The phone will start booting or maybe it will restart or reboot once or twice and we are done from the computer. Logo is now changed. Soon the mobile phone will start booting to the One UI 7.0 Invite 15 stock firmware. The first boot will take a little time. We have to wait here now. I got the One UI 7.0 Invite 15 on my Galaxy S21 Plus 5G variant. The USA variant. I will complete the setup screen. The new the Samsung UI is now on my mobile phone. So first of all I will connect my mobile phone with the internet by connecting the Wi-Fi, the new control center and then I will insert my SIM card. The SIM card is already here in my SIM tray. I will just close the SIM tray to show that the network is coming. The uh, SIM card is working. Well, you can see that the Telenor and the signals are coming also. And the VOLTE is also working. Now I will go to settings, new settings interface screen. Then I will tap about phone. Now you can see that the model number, which was uh, only U before it got changed to G996U1 the galaxy s21 plus 5g and uh, both ime numbers over here one is the ime one physical sim and the ime e sim i will tap the software information the phone got updated from the one ui 5.1 to the one ui 7.0 from android 13 to android 15 beast band number you can see that and this is the bid number now let me show the service provider software version here is the service provider software version, same CSE code XAA and let me make a call, right, thanks to the Samsung that finally this, uh, this One UI 7.0 got released for the S21 series also. So this is how to update the USA variant of the Galaxy S21 Plus or any other USA variant which got the update of One UI 7.0 and Y15. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do not forget to subscribe it. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.